To Kenya, where the government has ordered all Somali refugees living in urban areas to return to refugee camps. This is in a bid to end attacks by Islamist militants carried out in retaliation for Kenya's intervention in Somalia. Interior Minister Joseph Olelenko issued the order, citing emergency security challenges in Kenyan towns. The move is, however, likely to be criticized by rights groups. Kenyan security officials believe militants have used the refugee camps as bases to prepare attacks and then mingled with residents in urban areas to carry them out. Al-Shabaab militants have threatened to carry out further attacks if Kenyan troops don't withdraw from Somalia. Now, for more on this developing story on Somali refugees in Kenya, we're now joined live here in studio by Ralph Mazudi, the UNHCR resident representative here in Kenya. Thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you. Now, if we look at this directive by the Kenyan government to have all refugees return to refugee camps, what's the UNHCR's take on that? Well, first, we're surprised. <coughs> we're surprised because... Uh, um, um, we had started and the government had resumed registration of refugees uh, two or three weeks ago and it was going well and we believed that it was the best thing to do. The best thing to do was to register all refugees wherever they were in the country to make sure that uh, we, everybody would know who is, is where. Uh, so we were surprised. Uh, we were also surprised because uh, Kenya is an exemplary country when it comes to uh, asylum, provision of asylum. Uh, Kenya has received more than 30,000 South Sudanese refugees since uh, uh, mid-December. Uh, mid, mid uh, and we were also surprised because uh, one cannot say that refugees are terrorists. Uh, and, and that's the reason why we were surprised by this announcement today. So then how likely and how feasible is it to actually carry out this directive and considering your organization's surprise at the directive, how will you be cooperating with it? Uh, we, our role and our responsibility here in, uh, in Kenya is to work with the government, to support the government in its uh, effort to provide uh, support, assistance and asylum to, to refugees and we'll continue to work uh, side by side uh, with, uh, with the government. Uh, now, one has to realize that uh, here in, uh, in Nairobi and in other urban uh, centers, you have all kinds of professionals, doctors, uh, uh, teachers who have been in, uh, in these urban centers for a long period of time. And, and it will be difficult for them to abandon what they have and return to or go, to, because some of them have never been in camps, and to go to camps. The last thing is that some of these camps, in particular Kakuma, uh, uh, in Turkana since the arrival of uh, refugees from uh, South Sudan is quite congested. We actually need additional land for uh, the, the flow of refugees who continue to arrive. So there will be definitely an issue of space uh, for, for, for refugees in both Kakuma and Dada. So there is already that issue of space. So what are the numbers you're looking at in terms of moving refugees back to the camps? That, that's another important point. Uh, the, the actual the number of refugees who are outside of camp and who are in urban centers is in fact very small as compared to, to the total ref number of refugees, talking about 600,000 refugees throughout the country and less than 50,000 who are in town. So it is less than 10% of the refugees who, who, uh, who are in, uh, uh, in, in town. So that's what has to be taken into, into consideration. If we were to transfer some of the refugees to Kakuma, right now, as we're speaking, there is no space for, for that. Now, do you think, and looking at the difficulties that you're going to encounter, do you think that the move is fair, especially that you've said that refugees, all refugees can't be considered terrorists, and also what are the conditions they're facing at those camps? Are they safe for the refugees themselves? Uh, the, the safety uh, in, in the camp, if one looks at Kakuma, Kakuma is a, is a safe place. It's not the best place uh, where one can live. The conditions are harsh, but it's a, a place that is safe. Uh, Dadaab, in Dadaab, there have been quite a number of security uh, incidents back in, in 2012. In 2013, things have improved and we have uh, been providing quite a lot of support to the, to the government. More than $8 million were, were uh, contributed uh, to, to the government as part of the security partnership program. Uh, so I would say that in terms of security, things have been improving uh, in, in the camps. All right, thank you very much for your time this evening and those details. We're speaking there to Ralph Mazou from the UNHCR.